Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, I've only just finished this one. This is a stone from Julian. One of the better stones that I've carved up in quite a long time. So if you want to see that, check out a recent video. It is an absolute gem. I've just chucked it in one of my little suspension containers here. So it's slammed between two pieces of uh, plastic and it ain't going anywhere. So nice and safe. Give that back to him very soon. But there were two and I am super keen to work on the second one. So let's open it up and have a look. All right, so here we are. This one is much rougher than that first one. Very similar materials, still 23 mile cubipede. This one is a lot more undulating. You can see here a lot of these little divots and they've been done quite crudely. So I am gonna have to do a lot of fixing on this one. Again, it's no shape changing unless I really, really have to. And it doesn't look like I'm going to have to, which is good. Again, across the entire stone, there's a lot of this pitting that's been left behind. Even though areas of it have been polished, they've left behind all this pitting and we need to fix all that as well. As well as just a bunch of little cut-ins that they've done here and there. Probably from little sand spots, more, more big pits over here. And then the dip down areas are not even not even polished, not even close to polished. So a lot more work to do on this one, unfortunately. The back has been left super lumpy. And again, I'm seeing a scratch style thing across here, but I think that's just where they've dopped it and it's the outline of the dopping. I'll have to have a bit of a closer look. The macro lens is having a good look as well. Looks like there's a few little sand spots left behind still. The back on this one is definitely not as good as the previous one. They've also left a very sharp edge on all of this. So that I'm going to have to take care of as well, just to round that out a little bit. Otherwise we might have a problem with the Nova resins. And you can see, yeah, it's very undulating back on this one. Super wavy edges bit strange and then in the face I can see a little few spots over here so I'm gonna have to look at that real closely with the loop and see if I can get those out chuck the torch behind it as well a lot of work to go on this one I don't think I'm gonna get the texture out I'm pretty much just gonna have to start it again hopefully we don't lose too much but this one will change quite a bit hopefully we'll look very different to what it does now and look much more like this one here we should get a huge color improvement on this one and a huge shine improvement so let's get into it save a stone so starting out, we're getting the 600 Sinter Diamond. Do not worry, we're not hitting the face. The stone isn't that bad. It's a lot worse than the other one, but not bad enough to hit the entire stone with this very aggressive burr. We're just taking off those edges and then switching over to the 280 Grit Nova. And here we are hitting the entire stone. And I won't exaggerate it, but I spent a very long time on the 280 Grit Nova. It would have actually worn the burr out quite a bit. This one deserved a lot of a lot of attention because I thought it was going to come up really good and unfortunately over the course of this we'll see a number of problems which pretty much make me decide not to give it a really good finish because I want to get Julian's opinion on a few things when he sees the stone in person and we might do a rework on it so it could be back on the channel we do get it pretty good but I'm still not happy with it I love getting the stones perfect especially when they're good materials so you might see it back on the channel again You'll see out here I'm working on the back, working on the front. You'll notice a lot of sweeping movements because we're trying to even out a lot of these divots. There's been very sharp tunnels drilled into this thing and we don't like that. It's going to be impossible to get a good finish. And unfortunately the other thing holding it back is this shot here. So this is all the little sand scattered in the face and on the back of the stone and throughout it because it's a really clean crystal. You can see all of this from both sides and here the problem is judging when sand is going to be able to come out and when it's not. I've marked it all up with the permanent marker and you can see it is a nightmare. It is pretty bad. There's a lot of areas. These are just the ones that I thought I can get out. There are other ones that I have no hope getting out, but I do do a little bit of work on them just to minimize them. It's very hard, but you can, with the x-ray vision and the torch, you can kind of get a good judge on whether you're going to be able to remove something or make it better or make it worse. All of this sand comes up in little plumes. So you don't want to finish up right in the middle of a plume. You want to be right on the edge or be able to get rid of it completely. 
here you can see I'm just drilling away making sure that these little ones go unfortunately because some of the sandy spots are pretty deep we do remove a fair bit of material just getting rid of these small imperfections and also the permanent marker will disappear before you actually get rid of the floor so we'll repeat this again and you'll see how many dots are still scattered all over the face this process I went through about five times so it's yeah it's very very slow going and it's mostly because not all these imperfections are going to be able to come out so I'm just marking them up as I think I can remove or improve and you can see here just working on the edges working on the entire face still trying to round it out just get this shape nice and nice and consistent nice and even but it is it is a lot of work and there's a bit of a smiley face there so that's a bit interesting but the 280 grit nova this is the powerhouse and the most important step that you've got to get right so take your time and have a good go at it here is a shot of i think after number four or five and you can see the back is actually really good but the front has bits all over the face that we're just not going to be able to get rid of unfortunately and then i switch over to the novas the 600 1200 3000 and then we finish this one off with cerium oxide it's not i wouldn't call this stone finished i've left a lot of scratches in there but we just want to shine up the areas that we can to have a good look at the material and that'll give julian a good idea of what the what the future plan is for this stone the other one he's getting it set i'm actually going to meet with him tomorrow at the time of recording this and he's going to get that one set and it, hopefully we see it back on the channel after that because i would love to see the end result of that stone it's a little bit better than this one this one is giving me ptsd well that was an absolute battle i can't believe it even though it hasn't changed a lot in terms of appearance i mean it's gotten a little bit better and we've got a lot of the lot of the issues out like if i can get the light to just shine up in here you'll see that i'm not 100 percent happy with it there are a few issues which we'll talk about but yeah the color has gotten a little bit better the shape hasn't changed too much but even doing what i did we've lost around about a carrot or so so not too bad but it was a lot more work than i thought i'd have to do on this one now speaking about the things that i don't like about the stone see right here there's that cloudy fogginess and it goes a little bit onto the side here and also before when i got the light i showed you that little patch there there's still a couple little bits of sand and that cloud there has sand going all the way through pretty much halfway through the stone so i could try to keep getting rid of it but more was just going to keep coming up so i got rid of all the sand in the other places or at least most of it but every now and then there's something just below the surface or just touching the surface including that section just over there so yeah a little bit unfortunate there's also a couple areas i'd like to work on a little bit more the back was surprisingly as good if not better than the front it's got a much more interesting pattern to me and it finished up pretty well there are a couple spots though can't really find them i think it's yeah so up over here where that sand little cloud is there's still a few little spots there where sand just touches the surface most of the other spots are under the surface but honestly in the back here there's only two spots that I don't really like. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm actually a bit more of a fan of the back than I am the front, which is uh, not ideal, but I'd still want to do a little bit more work on the back. I didn't spend too much time on it because I don't know if Julian really wants the back really shiny or not, but there's still a few scratches here and there that I'd like to get rid of. Basically, just going back to the 1200 and rubbing off a tiny few little bits and pieces. The bar goes pretty warm colored on the side, but a little bit cool on the front still some warmer colors if you get that get that kind of angle there starts glowing a bit red i'll just chuck some white paper behind it to show you how crystal it is and it also highlights see there so that sand there doesn't come right to the surface but because it's so clean and so crystal you can see that it's sitting just below the surface that's that little part there that you can see that doesn't shine up properly that's a patch of sand that reaches the surface and all of that could be gotten rid of but you'd have to do something like this and just take off that edge which yeah is not is not ideal you end up just trimming off that top section here and then if we have a look around you can see there's a few bits of sand just hidden below the surface one right near that corner there same over here another one right near that corner just next to my fingernail i mean opal comes out of the ground it's very hard to get a pure clean piece 
And with Crystal, it's the least forgiving. You can always see these little bits and pieces, but honestly, if you bezel set it or something, you're not gonna you're not gonna see it. You really need this transparent look with the white paper behind or a torch behind it to be able to get the get the sand. It doesn't affect the actual face of the stone, which is good. A little white paper trick helps you helps you th see that because when you go black, it uh yeah it suddenly goes back to looking really nice. But all in all. Fantastic stone. I don't like it quite as much as this other one that I worked on. This one's a, a bit more a bit more colourful. They're actually similar in terms of weight because of how much I had to trim this other one down. This one's still a little bit smaller than the big boy here, but it is also much cleaner and yeah, it's I've spent a fair bit of time on that, but this one today has taken so much longer. It was a massive battle and I'm still not even that happy with it. So I'd want to touch up a few areas before I give it back to Julian. Also a much more even, even piece than it was when it started. Rather than having those scooped out sections, you can see here from the light, it's just a bit of an undulating surface. That's more what you want. It's how you get a nice finish on your stone. You don't want dips and valleys and all that kind of, all that kind of junk. I like freeform, but that's taking it a little bit too far. So this one can go in the container with the other one. They can chill side by side. Now I've got the macro lens on, so it's hard to get them in the one shot together, but there you go. That's a bit of a comparison. So this one here is uh, by far my favorite for sure. This one took a lot longer to get done though. Having really good quality material helps a lot and both are crystal clear. As you can see, they just glow if you put the white behind it. Real fun two stones. Real fun two stones. One a bit more fun, one a bit more frustration, but that's how Opal goes and we've ended up with two stones anyway. So, for future, I would like a lot more of these pieces and a lot less of these ones because sand is an absolute pain, as you guys all know. And I'm battling a couple other stones with sand in them, so I've got to get back to those. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you guys.